Hello everybody, this is Strawberry Singh and today I wanted to talk to you about Discord. Discord is basically a free uh, voice over IP software that lets you communicate with other people through voice or text, um, similar to the way that you might have using Skype or TeamSpeak, but it has seems to have a few more features. If you compare it uh, on their website, they have a comparison page with their features with Skype and TeamSpeak and Ventrilo, and you can see all the other features that uh, that it does offer compared to the others. So uh, the reason I wanted to talk about that today is because it's geared towards gamers and I've noticed more Second Life residents using it for different purposes. So you may be wondering, uh, now why are Second Life re residents using this when we already have a pretty great voice and text system in Second Life? And I think the main reason uh, is that is because it's convenient. So you can voice or text any groups of people or even someone one-on-one -on -one without having to log into Second Life. And people are not only using it for gaming though, it's also being used, utilized for various projects and other communities and so forth, especially if you are on YouTube or Twitch and you're a streamer, uh, people are chatting with their subscribers and so forth on there. So it's, it's a neat little software and, and I did want to talk about it. Uh, first, I wanted to tell you that it's absolutely free and their, their core features they say will always be free so you can you know uh, join servers or create your own server all for free they can chat on there in different channels all for free they don't run ads on discord either uh, so to stay afloat uh, in the future they plan to sell like optional cosmetic upgrades and they has they also have this thing called discord nitro and basically what that is is like a subscription feature and they have added and if you'd like to support their endeavors and receive some perks at the same time uh, little things that you can get if you uh, sign up for that so that's one way you can support them if you decide hey i kind of like using this thing but to use discord you can install it for windows or they have a lot of mobile apps or if you don't want to install it you can also use it within your browser if you could just open it within your browser but i do want to tell you that downloading the desktop or mobile versions gives you more functionality and better performance performance. If you use the browser version, you don't even have to register with them. Uh, you can just log in. If you have an invite to a channel, you can create a username and put in the invite and just go in as like a guest kind of thing and without registering with Discord. But I do highly encourage you to register because if you do not register, every time you go back, uh, you, all of your private messages or anything that you've had um, is all gone and you'll have to start from scratch over and over. And it also clutters up the servers. If there's people coming in without registering and their names are left and, and they're not really there and next time they come they'll have a different name so it's better if you do register and I actually highly encourage people to register before they start joining channels they should register and actually update their profile because I've noticed a lot of people on um, Discord actually haven't updated their profile and it's easy to up update your profile. You can just go to user settings and you can go to account. Uh, you can also con add connections in there um, and you can authorize apps and so forth and uh, you can you have a lot of options in there and you can also update your profile if you right click on your profile in any channel. You can write anything in this note area and tell people more, more people about yourself and then the connections that you had connected earlier will, be sh will also show up in your profile so I think it's really important to have your profile updated on there so people know where where else they can find you now to join a server all you need is a an invite link that you'll find on my website on my blog and also wherever else uh, whoever else has a discord channel that they want people want to invite people to that being said if you look at the description of this video uh, you will find a link to my blog post and if you click over to that you'll find a, an invite to my discord channel that I've created and also uh, you are free to actually share your own own invite link if you have your own discord channel for second life residents feel free to put them put it in the dis in the comments of the blog post so uh, if people want to join they are free to join so uh, if you want to join a um, channel that you have an invite link to you just click that plus sign at the bottom and then you'll get you'll get this window pop up and then you can create your own server or join a server so if you click on join a server the invite link will look something like this and then you put it in there and then you join and you'll be part of that um, server it's pretty instant. You're added right away if you've been sent the invite and you can start chatting right away. If you uh, want to create your own server, uh, of course you can just create a server. I'm going to get into that a little bit later. If you've joined a channel, I've jo recently joined the Blogger Vlogger Network Discord server that they have and if you want to join it, I believe it's open to join, uh, open to um, you know participate in. They have a link to their invite on their uh, on their blog, so you can check that out. And when you join, uh, they, they really set it up very 
very well. They have a lot of different channels you can uh, talk in. When you're looking at the Discord app, on the far left is all the servers you're, you're going to be a part of. So I'm quite I'm part of quite a bit right now. Uh, you'll probably only have one or two listed when you first start. Right beside that, you'll see all of the channels in whatever server that you're on. So if I'm in, if I'm in a different server, I'll see the chat channels there. If I'm on Blogger Vlogger Network, I'll see that channels there. Mine is strawberrysing.com. I don't have many channels or anything set up. I just created it. As time goes by, I'll add more channels when necessary. So in the Blogger Vlogger Network, if you decide to join, um, I don't want to go through all the areas too much because I don't know how private it is and so forth but uh, you'll probably end up in the welcome area channel first and in this channel you'll notice that I'm not allowed to type here uh, what they've done is they've made it just for the administrators and the moderators and they pin different messages here they have a welcome message they invite people uh, so this is a great way to invite people to your server and then they have the group ch chats channel where everybody is allowed to type so I can also type a message over here leave a comment and and uh, say uh, say hello to everyone. So if I if I type a message, hello everyone. And then if I want to go back and if I want to edit that, and I can edit it, and I can put a few more exclamation marks if I like. Uh, I can also uh, copy the ID, or I can delete it if I decided I want I didn't want that message there anymore. And another great thing that they have is they have reactions. So if somebody responds to me like Kestia did, Kestia did, I can just click on reactions, and I can put a heart there that I liked her reaction um, you can you know I could put poop there or whatever I want I could put an okay there so you can kind of respond to these reactions um, now I'm getting a lot of messages so uh, so it's really cool this group is great because there's always a lot of people online they're always chatting about different things another thing I love about this server is they have different uh, channels set up so we, they have uh, your events over here you can share your own blog posts and links if you want to share that share them with the group uh, they can you can talk about collaborations on this channel you can talk about photo editing different opportunities resible sims uh, another great thing they recently did was add machinima friendly uh, sims to their lists which is great this is a great um, server to join if you're interested in chatting with other second life bloggers and vloggers and getting to know them i also highly suggest joining the group in world i will have a link to this and their blog and so forth on my on my blog post and of course you'll find the link to that in in the description so this is how you pretty much chat you can just type and you can um, put reactions to people and so forth i also wanted to show you the friend and direct message section um, if you click on the people the bunch of people icon over here it says direct messages you can uh, see who where all all your friends are who's online offline uh, who if you have people sending you friend requests you'll find them under pending and if you block people you'll find them over here so you can unblock them if you like later on and you can directly talk to people if you click on them you can call them uh, speak on voice and so on and so forth so all of that information will be in this uh, little area over here under direct messages and all your friends can be found there and uh, it's very easy to access now if you want to create your own server like I showed you earlier you click on that plus sign at the bottom you can create your own server and you can name it whatever you want so let's create a test server and then you want to pick a server region they have a few regions that you can choose from um, all over the world so I usually just stick with US East so far I haven't had any issues with uh, using that server and then you just hit create and when you first create that server, um, you have you basically end up with one general text channel and one voice channel. So right now it added me to the voice channel right away. And if I want to disconnect from any voice channel, I can just click on this little phone icon here and it'll disconnect me from any voice channels now when you have a new server you always want to go into your server settings and you want to uh, go into all of these uh, verification level moderation instant invites you want to go through every single one of these settings to make sure you have it where you want it a lot of the things I'm not going to talk about today like web hooks and um, in, in different integrations and so forth because it's not uh, something that's really mandatory to have a server and it gets more detailed but um, uh, there will be links to all of this in on the Discord app website so you can learn more about it and, and use it if you'd like to. Now, I don't want this test server. I already have a server of my own, so I'm just going to show you how to, you can delete a server. You can go to server settings, uh, go back to server settings, and there's a trash can over here. If you click on that, you can delete the whole server and then that server is gone. So I'm going to go back to my strawberrysing.com server that I had created earlier 
And if I go into the server settings, uh, I have all these default notifications. I have it only uh, only at mentions because I don't want people to get messages of every single message is coming into the channel. I have the verification level set to medium because uh, I tend to get a lot of trolls <laughs> coming into my posts and videos and so forth. And I'm sure they're going to come into this channel as well, uh, this uh, server as well, once I go public with it. Uh, so I, I did set it up. I'm sure we're still going to get a lot of trolls coming in and, and you know, saying doing things in the server so just be one if you do decide to join my server uh, I'm not you know I'll try to moderate it as much as possible but there might be some griefing and trolling and you know if you'd like to help out with that that would be great uh, I'd love to have some volunteers I'm not scanning any messages you can send invites uh, I have a you know permanent invite link that's on my blog that'll always be there I can connect it to my YouTube gaming if I want to um, uh, now this will show me all of the members right now I only have one member to the list and then I can assign roles and so so forth over here and I can create more roles and in my roles I'm giving each one each people a different um, permissions so you want to go through all of that so if I have everyone uh, everyone gets to you know create an instant invite change their nicknames read and send messages and so on and so forth so I can change um, permissions and so forth for every uh, role that I create over here uh, and of course for myself I have all of the options because I'm the owner and then of course you can ban people uh, they have there's an emoji list you can upload your own emojis there's like widgets that you can add web hooks I'm not going to get into that and of course there's also two-factor authentication for security reasons so you want to make sure you go through all of these settings for your for your server when you first create create it and then when you when, what you want to do is you want to uh, create some text and voice channels so people can uh, talk and voice in your server so I have one voice channel over here if I click on that um, I have some options in there I have everybody can manage the channel which I shouldn't have that uh, I shouldn't have the manage permissions I shouldn't have manic manage hooks I can I don't mind if they want to invite people um, everybody can connect and speak um, not everybody should be able to mute or deafen or um, move members and everybody uh, use can use voice activity or um, push to talk uh, however they want to prefer so I want to make sure those options are all set in the voice channel and of course over here I can mute myself or uh, mute and silence everything if I want to and of course if I want to disconnect from the voice channel I just click on this little um, phone receiver over here in the general chat uh, again you want to go through um, the settings over here and you want to make sure you uh, okay you can change the name of the ch uh, channel name over here you can send invites uh, you want to make sure you go through the permissions so everybody not everybody can uh, do everything over here uh, of course and it, once I add moderators I can add moderators can of course do different things though they'll, they'll be able to um, manage the channel or manage the permissions and so forth and uh, so I can add more roles and so forth over here and again I'm not getting into web hooks today I was just trying out uh, thought I'd create another text channel um, so you know who can access this channel like you can say everyone or you can just have just the subscribers or just if you want a private channel for you and the moderators to chat if you want to discuss other members you know who to ban and so forth you can have private channels set up uh, so you can set all that up here so I did make a separate a sep separate channel because I didn't want to flood the general chat I figured I'd let leave that for you guys to chat but uh, in my very post I just decided to um, I'm going to share my blog and vlog links here so you guys will know whenever I update something. But mostly, I think most people will use the general chat just to chat if you guys decide to join. If you want to have, if you have a question for me or anything like that, uh, you are free to join and participate over here. And I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Um, again, you want to go through your user settings as well at the bottom over here. And uh, you want to make sure all of these are um, connected and you have your privacy settings, how you want them. Uh, these are all very important you want to set up your voice properly you want to go through all of that uh, you want to set up your notifications so you know when people leave you messages and so forth um 
Oh, and one more thing I want to show you is over here, if you click on yourself, you can actually set your status. Uh, so right now I'm showing online. I can set it to idle. I can set it to do not disturb, or I can set it to invisible uh, if I don't want people to know that I'm there for whatever reason. Um, and uh, that's it. So those are pretty much just the very basic use of uh, Discord. And um, it's, it's, I mean, it is a little bit daunting at first. It was for me anyways, when I first started, you know, using it, I wasn't sure where everything was. But if you've used like Slack, uh, Slack is another uh, chat kind of uh, app and so forth. It's very similar to uh, Slack in the way it works. So you shouldn't have too much difficulty with it. So I thought I would just do this quick tutorial. So people who are Second Life residents and who have uh, public and open um, servers on Discord and want more people to want other Second Life residents to join them for whatever reason, for chatting, for you know business opportunities, whatever. Uh, it's a great way to uh, interact with other Second Life residents. One thing I do want to remind you before sharing any personal information, uh, make sure that you read their privacy policy and how they uh, see what they do uh, with the information that they collect from you and make sure that uh, you never share anything highly sensitive in nature and always protect yourself and your personal information. But of course, you know, that is usually the case with any website or social network online, which is why I usually prefer to use a pseudonym or I prefer not to share any real life information or imagery. So make sure you read that. I'll have a lot of these links in my blog post. And again, that'll be in the description of the video. And feel free to join my server if you like. Feel free to join the Blogger Vlogger Network. They're a great bunch of people, very friendly and uh, a lot of stuff going on in there. And that's it. So I hope to uh, chat with you guys soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye.